everyone, my name's Audrey and I'm going to give you a short tour around our newest instrument that's circulating at the Bartholomew County Public Library, the Theremini! This instrument uses um, hand movements in two ways, for the volume and for the notes, and you can produce some pretty cool sounds. So today I'm going to show you the basics of setting up the theremini and the basics of playing it. Now, when you check out the theremini from the library, it'll come in this gig bag right here, and there's a front pocket, and it'll have two chords in it. And then in the actual bag itself, you'll have the instrument and the antenna will be on the bottom. Now, you'll also have a little bit of literature about how to use the theremini. So we've got a how-to manual and you can read more about the history of the theremin as well. If you want more detail from what I say in my video today, I definitely encourage you to look at this user manual and there are also some really cool YouTube videos um, made by theremini players who are much more accomplished than I am because I just learned how to play this last week. Okay, so I have the theremini actually turned in towards me so that I can see the screen. Um, now, I'm actually left-handed, and if you feel like you would rather play the note side versus the volume side with your left hand, you can, in theory, turn the theremini around and kind of put your hands like this instead. You can just decide what you're comfortable with, but the advantage of having the screen here is that you will be able to see what notes you're playing and use the volume and pitch correction and things like that. So it's just a matter of comfort. Once you have it um, calibrated and set up to play, there are um, two basic elements to playing the theremini. On the antenna side, that's where you're going to play your pitches, your notes. Um, you could play a scale on this side, any melody of a song you want to play. That's going to come from movements over here. And then on this side, you've got the volume, this uh, half oval over here. And by putting your hand down here, you'll make it quieter, and then you can raise your hand up to make it louder. So to play um, on the note side, on the pitch side, I'm gonna put my hand over here, and you can probably already hear, it's making a whole bunch of noise. So if you listen, you can actually play individual notes. And I'm looking at the screen because it's telling me what note I'm playing there. Now, there are different hand techniques that you can use on the theremini to produce different notes. Um, the classic one is to put your thumb and index finger together and you can actually hold your hand almost like a fist and then mo start moving your fingers to produce different notes. So, I'll show you that. So I'm just putting my fist here and then I'm raising my fingers and then you can kind of move your hand. And you can start just stretching out your fingers like that. Now, if you're like me and that's a newer hand technique to you <laughs> and you just want to experiment with how to produce notes in your own way, that's totally fine too. Um, you can practice that technique and like I said, there are lots of YouTube videos that are really great for that because of course, I am not a professional. But one other thing I enjoy doing is just moving my hand like this. Or you can start moving your fingers can go in different patterns. Whatever you like to do that produces a fun sound to you. Now let's experiment with the volume side of the theremini. So I'm just controlling the volume here, but that only controls the actual speaker in the theremini. To control the volume of the music you're playing, you're going to want to um, put your hand over here. So I'm just going to play one note, and then I have my hand down so far that I actually muted it. I'm going to start lifting my hand upwards. And down. 
you can hear how the volume changes based on the movements of my hand. So if you're playing them both together, a fun jam out session might sound a little like this. You can also try to sound out songs that you know on the theremini and play them that way. Now the one last thing that you can do is you can change um, the preset or the sound that comes out of the theremini. So right now I have the classic theremini setting, which was that sound you've been hearing before. But if you switch the presets, which is the other button on the far right side of the theremini, you can go and produce different sounds, so I'll show you a few of those. And so on. To check out the Theremini, just go over to our CD and DVD area of the library, and if it's in, you'll see a card that has a theremini on it, a picture of it. You take it over to the circulation desk and then they'll check it out just like a book or movie. You can also place it on hold at mybcpl.org and search for theremini in our catalog. Um, and then you could come pick it up at the library. If you have any questions about using your theremini, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. And with that, I hope you enjoy experimenting with the theremini. Thank you. Thank you.